Do you ever get that feeling that you're being watched? The Fujifilm X-T4 is Fujifilm's newest camera. And I've been having a good time testing. Let's get her out of here. <laughs> We're going to be using Dolly for a little bit of an autofocus test because that is the main thing I've been working with with this camera. Uh, let me report a couple of things. Number one, so it is a little too big for me. The Fujifilm X-T20 is my favorite camera for being so tiny. The X-T2 is a little bigger. This guy's just a little too big for me. So if you are interested in the X-T4, I really, really recommend if you can get to a camera store um, and, you know, put on a space suit so they'll let you touch it, wear your mask. But it really, really is um, a little bit bigger than the other cameras. So, so far I've been taking pictures with it. You know, those of you that are kind of between, do I want full frame or do I want, uh, you know, an APS-C camera and you're a little nervous. Well, some of the pictures, if you zoom in one to one, they're still crystal clear. And so the APS-C cameras are smaller and make you a little bit more agile. So great for street, great for photojournalism. But in this video, what I want to discuss more is the autofocus in the camera. I feel like the autofocus in this camera is probably a lot more advanced than all the lenses that I have. If I try to shoot in high burst and have anyone moving towards me, it can't grab every frame. It just can't keep up with the speed of the camera. A lot of images I'm getting on any continuous focus movement are kind of blurry. Now, you know me on this channel, I've taught all the focus modes. I know all the focus modes. I've tried eye autofocus. I've tried just face. I've tried putting the camera in a zone, which seems to work the best, by the way. I'm gonna use Dolly to simulate a model sort of coming up to the camera and coming back. Okay, I'm not gonna bore you with the test. I'm just gonna show you what the test is. Again, we're simulating as if you are shooting a model and they're just walking up and they're walking back. Okay, the camera should be able to handle that. I mean, that's so clack, 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 okay? I'm gonna start with eye detection. Now, eye detection will override all your other settings. So that means that it doesn't matter if you're in a zone or single focus or if you're in wide tracking. Eye autofocus will always try to override. Now here's the problem I'm finding with the X-T4. There's a lot of false faces. Sometimes if I have face detection on, and this happened, <laughs> I was photographing a color example of Spider-Man, my Spider-Man statue over here, and it kept seeing a face somewhere else on the statue. And I find that keeps happening, that the, the camera thinks it sees dead people. I see dead people. So I feel that the autofocus definitely needs a firmware update of some kind. The eye autofocus and face is a little too nervous. Here we go. <laughs> okay, so I just went through the pictures and it looks like most of them are blurry. Okay, here we go. We are doing eye again, just to follow up our experiment. One, two, three. Up and back, up and back. You saw that wasn't crazy. That's like if someone's like, what's up, yo, and comes back. Let's check it. Okay, same thing. So the autofocus is not catching up with the drive. Let's try just face and see if face can do a little better. Okay, no eye autofocus, face, here we go. Going up, coming back. So it seems like most frames don't grab. The camera, I think, is much faster than the lenses. I'm gonna try a zone now, like I mentioned before. Let's switch it to zone. That means I'm gonna turn face detection off. And uh, usually I find that this is the best for action. Face detection is off and I'm going to a zone focus on continuous. Here we go. Same test. Picked up the zone, one, two, three, going up and coming back. All right, let's see what we got. All 
All right, I'm looking at the photos here, looking at the photos. It grabs on for the most part, but it will lose. <laughs> it loses her. Let me try that again. Zone, grabbing on, the boxes are on there, the green boxes going up, stopping and coming back. Yeah, so this one did a lot better. Uh, when we got closer, it gets a little nervous, the autofocus, and then grabbed on. So that did a little better. So right, my recommendation is if you're shooting any kind of, uh, you know, full body action that doesn't really need eye, I think eye autofocus is probably great for a single shot. You know, someone doing a portrait and just being there, use the eye autofocus or face. It's going to be great. But for anyone just kind of doing a little bit of motion or kids running around, for now, I would pick a zone until Fujifilm comes up with a better firmware update. Hey guys, this is Omar from the future. Everything I recorded just now, that was yesterday. So I decided to try, the camera wasn't doing so great. So I was thinking one thing was the office here was a little dark. I was at ISO 8000. So it kind of became like a low light autofocus test. So I decided to try it. And also with a real human, I decided to try. So I just had my daughter walk up towards me and test that. And it did pretty good. It just missed one or two frames. It did a lot better with face detection on and someone just walking up to you. I was on high burst. And like I said, it just missed three, maybe four shots. Now also for continuous focus, you also have options to customize what the continuous focus does. So I switched to the, instead of the standard option, I switched to the erratic behavior because my daughter was being erratic. So that seemed to grab a little bit more. Not all the frames, but not too bad, a little bit better. So my first dolly test seems to be like low light, face detection, yada yada. I also repeated with my son in the shade and it did a lot better. It does continue to miss a frame and then re-engage autofocus, but I think the low light was one issue I was having. I also repeated the same motion going towards my daughter and coming back, and it did a lot better in bright light, high burst. Uh, I, I didn't use the eye autofocus, I used face for that, and it did grab more. Now, I still think that the camera is more powerful than the lenses. They cannot keep up with the autofocus, which is why it seems you miss a frame or two. So if you're doing anything that's maybe a little bit more action, a little bit more motion, just keep that in mind. By the way, we should probably thank b &H. Uh, They are the friends that we have on this channel that let us borrow cameras and play with stuff so that we can test. So say thank you to them if you're ever, tell them Omar sent you if you buy anything. Uh, really appreciate that. All right, thank you b &H. All right, so I'm gonna try with the 35 millimeter F2. This is a great autofocus lens. It's really fast. I really like how this, uh, these small lenses are quiet to focus and are really quick. So I'm gonna try face detection first here. All right, face detection. It found her face. Here we go. Going up and coming back. Oh, lost it, lost it. <laughs> so it's not doing a great job. I think I'm gonna stop here. Okay, again, continuous high, I think is a little too fast. I'm gonna go to continuous low. And again, just use face. I'm not gonna use eye. And here we go. It found her face. Let's do a lunge. One, two, three. Going up and coming back. Buck, 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 buck. Okay, what do we got here? The 35 with continuous low, still missed as well. So I think I'm gonna stop there, guys, but I just wanted to report what my autofocus uh, continuous and eye and face is doing. You know, I tried this with the, look at me, I'm like, yeah. <laughs> and for video, it also does continuous eye face. You know what, we should probably show that here. Okay. Why, hello there. Talking to you from inside the Fujifilm X-T4. So I'm trying to record the screen so you can see how crazy the eye and the, <laughs> the eye, I don't know what software they put in there, but the eye like little box moves back and forth between the two. 
it totally gets super nervous, you know. <laughs> and um, let's see if it finds uh, Dolly back there. Let's see. Yeah, yeah. It focused, it focused back there on Dolly. And if I go like this, I'm closer. Man, those colors are beautiful. Oh, look, look, it did a false positive. Don't move. Oh, it found my face again. <laughs> so it thinks the lamp is a face. Let me see if I could show you that. Let me see if I could get that. There it is, there it is, there it is. Did you see that? Did you see that? Did you see that? Let me see. Freak it out. Freak it out. Maybe if I get near the lamp. But I was just... <laughs> so I was just sitting here and all of a sudden the face and the eye moved to this lamp over here. And that's what I feel happens every now and then. I get a little false positive and it will jump. This autofocus jumps to other stuff. And it should know what a face is, yo. Maybe it's my egghead. Oh, oh, it did it for a second there. Um, you know, of course it's not going to do it now. Of course. Murphy's... Oh, oh, you saw? You saw? You saw? So it sees Dolly in the background and it sees me. And then it thinks the lamp sometimes is a... Um, there it is, there it is. Did you see that? Yeah! It thinks that's an eye and a face. <laughs> Tell me what you guys think below. And those of you that have this camera, please do some tests and come back and report so I can repeat. And that's good science, yo. All right, I'll see you guys next time.